I should probably put a shirt on. I'm still cold. Okay. Oh, it really does look like I just woke up. Jesus. Uh, let's focus. It's a little bit closer. Oh man, my hair looks crazy. Well, I did just wake up. Let me turn down the light a little bit so it is, I don't look as pale. How's that? A little bit better? Cool. Okay. Um, I seem a little bit hyper today because I am. Um, I, this is day six now. Um, first thing I'm going to mention, very cold. Um, temperature here is, it feels like it's 50 or 60, so, I mean, it's whatever, it's April 1st, so, I don't know. Either way, um, so, day six. We are on day six right now. Yesterday was day five. I didn't get to upload the video until I got home from work yesterday. I don't remember what time I got home. I'm just, whew, a lot on my mind. Um, a lot of what I plan to do this year uh, with my body and so on. Uh, I actually do, I'm going to put the microphone closer. I actually do plan on um, getting as muscular as possible by August, which will be very interesting. Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned in the other video, but I did hit like 9.7% body fat, which is pretty low. I just weighed myself and I still have a bit of water in me and I'm like 183 right now. So I'm assuming I'm like 180 right now, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, so yesterday, how did that go? Um, first tip I need to give, do not drink high caffeine coffee um, after being days into a water fast of some sort. Um, I, I have a smartwatch that, I have a smartwatch that can vaguely track my heart rate or beats per minute I guess um, I drank some a little bit before work because I remember the day before I got low on energy I drank a little bit of coffee and I was fine uh, I drank a different kind of coffee a much weaker coffee the coffee I typically drink now that I used to really give me energy is that max Maxwell coffee but the one that I drank the other day was very moderate in caffeine and it did me you know fine this one I even made less strong than I normally do, uh, but within maybe 10-15 minutes, my I could feel my chest pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping, and uh, I was actually actually getting warm, and so I decided to track my heart rate really quick or my beats per minute, and it was at like 113, and I was like, oh, that's very high. I actually can't calm down right now it's not going away so it took about 30 minutes to an hour after that to finally get my heart rate back down to something somewhat normal I was a little concerned I couldn't get myself to calm down I couldn't I couldn't think I was kind of scared I was gonna pass out or something I eventually got better and I didn't drink any more coffee that day I just drank a bunch more water and oh, since it is Easter, I had to deal with going into the office and walking in on donuts. And I took a picture that I'm gonna put up once I'm editing this, but donuts, uh, uh, this crock pot full of, I don't know, I just walked in and this burst of smell just smacked me right in the face. And uh, one of the ladies there offered me she, she said something, She's got, and she's a wonderful cook, wonderful lady. She made something, and I don't even remember what it was, but she said, oh, go try some. I said, no, 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 I can't. I'm actually on a water fast. And of course, her and a few other ladies were extremely concerned because they had seen me at 300 pounds, and they were like, you don't need to lose any more weight. You know, you're already skinny, blah, 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 blah. And they're just being concerned. They're mothers, um, so they have every right to be concerned. But they, uh, of course, you know, they're extremely worried. I mean, anybody be worried after saying I haven't eaten in four or five days. So, I mean, what do you expect? 
then uh, I proceed to kind of explain to him, you know, why I'm doing it. I told him, I'm not doing it for weight loss, you know, I'm doing it mainly to detox myself and clean whatever gunk I have in me out, you know, from all the alcohol and junk food I've eaten throughout my life, really. And, you know, do your parents know you're doing this? Yes, they know. They're actually pretty supportive of it. Um, and, uh, so I explained it to him, and they were kind of like iffy about it. And he needs to put on muscle. Uh, he needs to put on size. And I'm like, I'm actually finally at a normal weight now. My stomach is growling. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but my weight needs to be like 180, it's either 83, 86, down to like 165. That's what most sites say that my weight should be medical sites and all um that's without really being a bodybuilder of any sort so i mean it makes sense uh and if you do lift you're probably gonna easily be over that like i was um i'm not a bodybuilder by any means but i had some muscle on me so i just essentially easily weighed 200 pounds i did have a little bit of fat on me but it's it's what kept me a little bit heavier either way i uh uh, I eventually explained to one of those ladies toward the end of the night, like around nine, uh, that, you know, the reason I'm doing it, you know, and I told her, Hey, you should feel really proud of yourself because you almost broke my fast. I was this close to just going in there and eating whatever. And of course, everybody that I talked to about it yesterday, you know, Oh, you can have some celery. It's mainly water or cucumber. And while it's tempting, I know that as soon as I eat that, I'm not going to be able to stop as soon as I have that delicious taste of fruit or vegetable or anything. I'm not going to be able to stop, which could be very potentially dangerous because if I do that, I could end up clogging my intestines or stomach because I don't think I'd be able to stop after going five days without eating. We are on day six. Tomorrow is my last day. I just have to get through today, which will be easy because um, where I work is closed on Easter. So happy Easter, everybody. If you don't celebrate Easter, I'm sorry. Happy April 1st, April Fool's, whatever. Happy day. I don't care. Um, so I'm off today. It'll be easy day to get through. Uh, to get through, I'll be able to just drink a bunch of tea, a bunch of water, uh, go out, walk around, beautiful day and hail and snort all the pollen outside that'll be nice uh I'll be able to hang out with some family hopefully and it'll be easy day i just have to get through tomorrow which i close which means i'll be at work till 11 which means you know my butt's gonna be up at like 5 or 6 a.m tuesday so that i can drink some of that beef broth and tomato soup and get my day started because i want to be done with this and see if I can absorb vitamins and see if I can maintain my weight and see how that goes. Uh, I actually did make some tea this morning. It is the peppermint tea that I have fallen in love with now because it's the only other thing with flavor and that's all I want right now. Uh, now you're probably wondering, oh he's got this burst of energy now, you must this ketosis thing must really be kicking in. Um, yes, to an extent, but also no. I'm home alone right now, so I can kind of be as loud as I want. Not that I couldn't be before, but I just I don't t normally talk loud when it comes to being in my room randomly. So I don't want anybody in the house to just randomly be concerned. Oh, why is his voice up? And then come in. And then they're on camera and then they get all shy and all that stuff. So right now everybody's at church and I'm home alone so I can kind of be wacky in my usual self. Um, however, the first three days that I was doing these vlog update video things, I was a little bit low on energy along with people being home so I couldn't really be too loud or overly exaggerated. But right now this is pretty much me and how I usually am. I'm pretty much leveled out. Uh, I do notice I haven't brushed my teeth yet and I'm really really wanting to because I can almost taste the ketones in my mouth. It's like a, a, a bitter sour, it, it's kind of weird like this tea is barely washing it down but eh, it's I don't know there's just this 
taste that's in the smell and it's just it's not cool I'm actually using uh, activated charcoal to brush my teeth at first and then I'm using regular toothpaste and then Listerine just to really clean my mouth because it just it feels gross um, I took a super super deep hot shower last night right after getting home and it was one of the best showers I've ever taken in my life it was magnificent um, I just felt all this almost like dead skin coming off of me it and a lot of people do report that um, when you're doing a water fast your skin does release a lot of toxins how accurate any of this stuff I'm saying is I don't know but I'm able to relate to some of these people you know like oh I understand that I get that I feel that I actually felt like every time I scrubbed I was getting all this crud off of me um, same thing with my scalp and my face when I got out the shower I had like a bunch of peeled skin and it's just like my mole earlier yesterday that was inflammated looks great I mean it's gone down a lot so uh, how do I focus this uh, please focus uh, I know the glare must be annoying the heck out of you guys right now for my glasses but I am sorry um, I gotta figure out how to make that not happen um, of course I'm also looking at myself on the camera so that doesn't help uh, so right here we are on day six it is a Sunday obviously it is Easter looks beautiful outside nice and chilly not a big fan of that probably shouldn't have worn shorts uh, but this jacket's keeping me rather warm now so that's all I'm really worried about um, Definitely looking forward to taking my multivitamins again. These uh, gummies that I got probably about like a month ago. Literally, I love starting my day out with these. Not because they make me healthier or anything, but just because they're sour gummies and it's 15 calories for two. And I'm kind of a sucker for sour stuff, even though I don't ever eat candy. It's more of a, oh, I gotta eat this. Oh, boo hoo me. I know, again, I'm all over the place, but. Uh, Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about. You definitely want to be careful about who you tell you're doing a water fast to. Uh, a lot of people do not support it for obvious reasons. It doesn't make any sense. You know, oh, if I told anybody I was going to go days without food, their immediate concern is you're going to get hurt, this or that. You know, not everybody assumes this is something that we all need to do. I'm going to lower the exposure a little bit because I feel super bright that looks super dark and it looks like I'm a monster here can I put this on manual? no? well hopefully I didn't mess that up sorry um, you want to be careful who you tell um, family like close family that you live with you want to tell so that if you start acting different acting loopy they can help you out and kind of tell you hey you're acting kind of different um, but when it comes to work people, definitely people who are willing to listen and understand and come to see what you're doing as something beneficial to you and that you've, you know, done your research. Um, and it's funny, at work, they're doing this uh, thing where you're tracking how much water you drink, eight ounces per cup, and I guess whoever drinks the most water uh, wins. And one of my buddies at work told me, you know, hey, they're tracking it, you might want to go and uh, put your... Uh, drinks drinks uh cups for the day and i was like yeah that's awesome i'm drinking like two and a half gallons a day easily like i'll easily win this this is perfect for me and i went on there and i typed in 40 because that's about two and a half gallons for uh for each cup and all that and it said i can only enter a maximum of 16. really I could probably drink the most water here and it's the only thing I'm good at right now and you're capping me out at one gallon come on come on please I just I just wanted that one thing that's it but I'm not holding against it I don't care I think it's a uh, it's a group effort whichever location drinks the most uh, water I guess wins a prize I don't know 
but I just thought that was funny because I immediately thought, perfect, I'm gonna be able to win this no problem, I'm gonna shine, no, I'm just gonna be very healthy and nobody's gonna know, so. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now, you wanna be very, um, you wanna have some facts ready, definitely. You don't wanna just tell people, I'm going days without eating, why? Uh, well, you know, uh, I just want to, but why are you going days without eating? What's it gonna do for you? You're gonna get hurt, this and that. Oh, well, I'm just doing it just to see what happens. You don't wanna do that because then people just think you're being arrogant and ignorant and every other not nice word under the sun. Um, so don't do that. You wanna be able to say something along the lines of, uh, I'm doing it to detox my body. I've done tons of research on it already. Um, I can understand why you're concerned. Uh, you know, I'm drinking plenty of water to do this. You know, I know when to break my fast. You, you need to seem very educated on it, otherwise people get worried. Uh, for all they know, you could be on something and you're just doing stupid stuff and they don't know if they need to help or not. So I'm at about 18 minutes here. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I need to explain. Uh, like I said, this is day six. Cannot believe I've gone eight days without any food and theoretically only five calories because I accidentally drank that pre-workout that one night. If melatonin has calories, I'm sorry. Um, and I've really only had sucralose, caffeine, and tea, and black coffee. So those are the ingredients that I've had all, all week so far. Uh, really looking forward to Tuesday to seeing how my body reacts. I really want to see the benefits of this. My skin is clearing up amazingly. I'm loving it. Inflammation really has gone down. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. Um, I th I'm pretty sure they were cysts. I had one here, here, and here. They were, uh, I call them under the skin uh, cysts because they were very hard. You couldn't really uh, get to them or anything. They were just hard, and if you mess with them, they'd get bigger. Um, they either went down or popped, which was great, and my stomach just growled, which I looked up. It is not an actual sign of hunger. Um, it's actually just a sound that is very muted whenever you are full. So whenever your stomach is empty and it goes through that process of creating whatever substance it's making to make that noise, it's just louder because you have no food in your stomach. So you're constantly making that noise, but when you have food, it's more muted. So don't actually overeat because you keep hearing that sound. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I have no idea what I was saying because my memory has been terrible since day one of my life. Um, I don't remember what I was saying, and I'll probably edit this and go, oh, that's what I was saying. Great, awesome. Well, I just wasted my own time. Um, trying to think what I was saying. Uh, ingredients wise, only five calories. Uh, this is gonna be a problem. One thing I do wanna talk about is after I'm done with this seven day fast, I am gonna try and continue to make videos like of this style um, maybe once I start going to the gym again and start uh, trying to build muscle again which will probably be in about two to three maybe a month ish I'm not sure um, I'm gonna start bringing my I'm um, start recording myself at the gym a little bit kind of interacting with you guys a little bit and just making sure um, I can kind of track this progress because I do want to get extremely extremely uh, muscular by August and then kind of lean out for the winter um, because when I do go on this trip I kind of want to eat with no um, real I guess worry you know the more muscle you have the uh, more calories you burn easily so I want to be able to eat you know kind of freely when I go there I don't want to have to bring a food scale and weigh out everything and I want to look good um, a lot of my clothes are starting to fit loose now which is cool um, which obviously will change as soon as I start putting muscle on Oh man, that tastes great. Um, by the way, on the last video I posted yesterday, one of my buddies who's actually in the Navy commented and I didn't even recognize it at first. So if you're watching this, what's up man? Hope you're having fun in the Navy. Have fun. 
Don't do a water fast. Don't do a water fast. You'll probably die because it sucks and it's dumb and food tastes so good. So don't do it. Um, <laughs> no, but that's just a joke. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of lay down, maybe play some video games. Uh, my voice is cracking a lot just because I'm very dehydrated. Um, I don't know if you know, but I play uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z uh, for the Xbox One. Love it. Recommend it. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. My voice is cracking a lot. Um, I love this tea. I'm very thirsty and dehydrated. Asmer with Nazo. That's what this is going to be. That's what I'm going to turn this channel into. That's all it's going to be. And if that was gross to you, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I thought that was funny. So, I don't know what to do now. This is a very long video now, and I'm probably going to have to edit it down to like 17 or 18 minutes and constantly loop a song over and over and over and over. Uh, well, I will see you guys tomorrow.